uh, video, I wanted to show you um, what happens when you're working in Illustrator, but you have to take the background away to certain images. Um, you don't have to do this in Photoshop because Photoshop gives you the ability to do that. But there's going to be times that you're working in Illustrator and you need to take the background away of something. So in my case, I needed to take the background away of my maze and I also needed to take the background away of my bowl. So if you're going to be saving this for Illustrator, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to isolate the object that you're trying to take away from the background and you're going to go ahead and copy and paste it in its own layer. You can go ahead and turn the background off so that it is transparent and then what you can do is file and export as and make sure that it's set for ping and it has a transparent background. I would go ahead and probably save this to your creative clouds just so that you have it stored and make sure that you give it the correct file name that you want and then save. So now when I go into Illustrator and I'm working on my bowl layer, I can go ahead and do file, place, and inside my creative cloud, I should find the ping version, PNG, of that bowl. And then I can place it down on the artboard. Okay, this is the same thing that happened with my maze. So my maze was um, fine, it just had a white background. So what I did was I selected the black part, I copied and pasted it, and then I exported it as a ping to get rid of the background. So this is a way to get rid of those backgrounds when you're working in Illustrator.